Hello everyone, welcome to a Small Turbo YouTube channel. So for today, we're going to discuss charging by friction. So this is basically part 1 of this module 7.1 kasi charging by friction lang ang ating i-discuss later sa part 2 na si induction para po hindi kayo masyadong confused or ma-confuse. So without much further ado, let's go to our topic. Let us start by answering this what I know portion. So, what will happen when two like sign of charges are brought together? They will, of course, repel each other. Second, how can a material become positively charged? Of course, by losing electrons. Which of the following states that charges are neither created nor destroyed but only transferred from one material to another? That is, conservation of charge principle. If you comb your hair and the comb acquires a positive charge, what will happen to your hair? It will become negative, negatively charged. Which of the following will be attracted to a positively charged object? Of course, a negatively charged object. Who among the following was the first to determine the electron's charge? Millikan. 7. What is the charge of a neutral atom after it gains an additional electron? It would be negative, kasi si electron is a negatively charged atom particle. Neutral atom contains equal number of protons and electrons. What do you call the process of transferring charges between objects by rubbing? It is charging by friction. What is the symbol of an electron charge? It's negative E. What is the is a unit of electric charges? Coulomb. What do you call the attraction or repulsion between electric charges? It's electric force. Daniel rubs a piece of four on a hard rubber rod, giving the rod a negative charge, which is most likely to happen. So electrons are added to the rod. 14. Why does a plastic strip become positively charged after rubbing rubbed or after being rubbed with cotton? So the plastic strip lost electrons to the cotton during the charging process. How does triple electric charging works? It's by transferring of electrons between two rubbed objects. Alright, so let's go to this. So basically... The nucleus is the center of an atom and it contains positively charged particles called protons and uncharged particles called neutrons. Together, we call them nucleons. So the nucleus of an atom is surrounded by a cloud of a negatively charged particles called electrons. So among the particles, ito lang talaga sa electrons ang pwedeng malos or magain kasi siya lang ang pwedeng ma-remove from, from the 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 atom itself hindi pwede hindi pwede si proton kasi nandoon siya sa nucleus ito lang si electrons ang nasa labas so electric charges not only exist within an object they can also move through an object so we have the so called conductors these are materials that can conduct electric charges and we also have insulators those that poorly conduct electric charges and we also have materials that have characteristics in between conductors and insulators we call them semiconductors so in the following activity you need to classify so i have already checked you may pause this video to go over to double check if this is correct Okay, we all know that the building blocks of matter is the atom. The varying atomic properties of different materials gives them electrical properties, one of which is the ability of a material to lose and gain electrons when they are rubbed with a different material through friction. We call that electron affinity. We're going to um, define that later on. So we have here an activity entitled Rub Me Hardly. So basically... Magkakaroon tayo ng balloon and hair, microfiber cloth as well. And we also have the guide here, the procedure, and the guide questions. So, i-follow nyo lang yan. We have the criteria para ma-answer yun. Okay, let's have the discussion part. 
So before we understand or be in discussing charging by friction, let us first try to understand what electricity is. So electricity is basically a form of energy and it has the basic unit which is charges of course charges is the basic or charge is the basic unit of electricity and charge is a quantity measured in columns so these charges can be transferred to and from objects and many moving conductors as current and that current is measured in amperes and as you can notice the world we live in is highly dependent on the electric energy and power. And another term, power, this is measured in watts, supplied by our power plants. And again, this unit watt is named to honor James Watt, which who is the inventor of the steam engine during the Industrial Revolution. Going back to our topic, electric charge is an intrinsic property of proton and electrons. So charge is a quantity with a magnitude and a unit. The is a unit of charge is the Coulomb, as I mentioned earlier. A neutron has zero net electrical charge, whereas a proton has a positive charge, while electron carries a negative charge. These two types of charges, positive and negative, were named by Benjamin Franklin, and we have here J.J. Thomson who discovered the electron, and Robert Millikan discovered the charge of the electron. So basically, the charge of the electron is the negative of the elementary charge E, which is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 column. The charge of the electron is the, um, yes, negative. If the charge of the electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of ne negative 19, the, the charge of the proton is positive 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 column. And always remember that like sign, charge, like sign of charges repel and unlike sign of charges attract each other. Materials or bodies may be left with a certain charge and this may be done through the process of charging. So when you say charging, it is the process of gaining or losing electrons. So there are various types of charging processes. We have charging by friction, charging by conduction, and charging by induction. But in this uh, video, in this discussion, we are going to focus on the charging by or through friction. So in charging by friction, we have to remember the electron affinity. When you say electron affinity, this is the property of an object to be to attract more electrons or to be more attractive to electrons. So different materials have different affinities of electrons. And we can identify these objects having this electron affinity in the triboelectric series. And when you say Charging by friction, its other term is triboelectric charging. Okay, so we're going to use the triboelectric series. So basically, when you say triboelectric series, it's the arrangement. Okay, it's the arrangement of, as you can see, material or substances giving their ability to gain or lose electrons. So as you can see, the upper portion is positive and the neg and the lower portion is negative. So how are we going to this um, explain this? The materials here has the capability to lose electrons. When you lose electrons, they will become positively charged. And the materials here will uh, have this ability to gain electrons. So if you rub polyester in the skin with the skin so you have you can expect that um, the electrons in the skin will will be gained by this polyester so what happened to the polyester it will become more negatively charged and the skin will become more positively charged that's how we are going to 
discuss this tribal electric series. So I hope you learned something. So going back to our activity, when you rub one balloon with your hair, you are experiencing friction. So during the process, atoms in the balloons are forced to be close to the atoms with your hair. So the rubber of the balloon has ha high electron affinity based on the triboelectric series a while ago. So since it has a higher electron affinity, it will take electrons from the atoms of your hair. So when you pull the balloon away, from your hair, the balloon will have more electrons or has gained electrons which made, made it negatively charged. So what happened? If you are going to, for example, put that balloon to your body, it will attract because your body is positively charged. Or basically your skin is positively charged. So positive and negative will attract with each other. So while your hair has lost some electrons, so what happened? It will have a positive charge. So you can also notice that your hair is attracted to the balloon. This is the evidence that oppositely charged objects attract each other. And if you can notice, if you rub two balloons in your hair and place the balloons near each other, so kailangan uh, simultaneous ang pagrab ha. It you can see that they will be repelled. They move away from each other kasi the same naman ang kanilang charge nag na gain sila ng a lot of electrons so what happened puro sila negatively charged and when they when we are going we try to uh, put them in contact they we cannot expect them to be attracted kasi the same na ang kanilang charge so that's charging by fraction we need to make use of this triboelectric series for us to identify who gain and who lose um, electrons who lost electrons so basically this charging by friction apply this law of conservation of charge is also applied always applied to these different charging processes in which charges cannot be created nor destroyed but can be transferred from one material to another the total charge in the system must remain constant that's the law of conservation What's more? Okay, this is very easy. All you have to do is use the triboelectric series. Hair and paper, material who would lose electrons. Where is hair? Hair is here and paper is here. So basically, ang mag na electrons is si hair. Magiging positive siya. Kasi ang yung mag dapat positive. So positive lahat ang answer dito. Dito negative. Kasi kapag mag ka ng electrons, talagang negative. Let me try. Let me type it. So these are the answers for our, our what's more. For example, rubber and skin. Let's try to take a look at the tribal electric series. So the rubber is here and the skin is here. Between the two, si rubber ang my electron higher electron affinity meaning siya yung mag talagang magigain ng electrons. So siya yung negatively charged, si skin yung positively charged. Are we correct? Okay, very good. That's correct. Alright, so kayo ng bahala. So what I have learned, napakadali lang naman yan, meron tayong rubrics. And for the what I can do, the same. You have to explain the electron affinity who has, um, who will end up with excess negative charge. You have to explain it. Use, and we have the rubrics for your answers. For the assessment, ipa-flash ko lang ito. All you have to do is, you pause the video. Para ma-focus nyo yung mga answers. Okay? So, kayo nang bahala dyan. And for the additional activities as well, neutron has no net charge. Like sign of charges, repel each other. and like sign of charges, attract each other. Walking across a carpet is an example of charge being transferred by friction. The girl's hair and the comb are attracting one another. The hair and the comb have Opposite charges. Kapag ganyan, opposite charges talaga kapag mag-a-attract sila sa isa't isa. Okay? So, this ends our video lesson for today. We're going to see each other in our part 2 of this module. We'll have charging by induction. So, bye for now. Thanks for watching.